how are you after a long after a one week again let's a physics period we are back to our physics classroom am i right so in the last week we have we have learned about the measurement am i right we have started the lesson measurement in that we have discussed the point why there is a need of measurement then we are uh, in the next means next uh, saturday we have uh, learn about the scalar and vector quantity am i right the different quantities today we are going to learn one more per concept about a density but what is the density and what what are the factors related to that that we will discuss afterwards but first tell me uh, there are the different points in measurement already we have learned in maths am i right you have learned in the maths the concept of measurement of mass measurement of weight measurement of time measurement of temperature measurement of length am i right so in this measurement of length what is meant by the length length this uh, the the particular thing is how long am i right we say how much long it is then measurement of time then measurement of weight weight is nothing but a gravitational pull applied by the particular object am i right the gravitational pull is called as a weight then we have uh, in a fifth standard we have learned about the temperature what is meant temperature temperature is nothing but a degree of hotness and coldness is called as a temperature the full form of sr sr is nothing but a system international am i right system international every uh, quantity has its uh, sr system uh, that is called as a system international means standard unit every every quantity has its standard unit so uh, then we have this uh, then we ha we have learned about the distance displacement this quantities we have discussed today we are going to start with one more quantity that is density that is density so you have learned about the volume what is meant by the volume so before that i would like to uh, tell you see this is a book am i right what is this this is a book so the book occupies some space this is a book which occupies some space book occupies some space this not only the book but every object around us our around us occupies some space it occupies the space so that quantity is called as a volume that quantity is called as a volume the space occupied by an object is called as a volume okay the uh, means or we can say that space you uh, you have learned about the volume so volume of any object or if you want to calculate any volume of any object then you measure the volume by do you know any formula for the volume yes what will be the formula for the volume length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height or we can say its thickness or we can say its thickness now see the book if you will consider a book and now this book is occupying some space Whereas this book is occupying some space, means the particles. There are some. The book is made up of some particles. They are called as this. It is made up of matter that is called as a molecules. These are called as molecule molecules. These are called as a molecules. So now see our uh, the. Uh, the space occupied by the particular object is called as a volume am i right now we will learn that if if you will take some quantity now see if i will take here a weight or if i will take here a weight iron weight do you know iron weight and here i will take some cotton Cotton. It will 
happen? What will they happen? Can you tell me? Okay, instead of water, just tell me what will happen. Whose weight will be more? Ma uh, iron weight or cotton? Yes, of course, iron weight. Of course, iron weight will be the more. And it will be a less weight. Am I right? Yes or no? So, it means that density of the iron weight is more than the density of a cotton. Now, what is mean by the density? Density is nothing but we can we have a formula for the density. We can say that density is calculated by mass per unit volume. Mass per unit volume. So density is defined as mass per unit volume. Are you getting this? Means now if you will take any object in your hand, you will feel. Now see, if I will take in one hand if iron weight and in another if I will take cotton, then whose weight I will get more? Yes, of course, iron. Am I right? So density is defined. Then how you can recognize? Yes, it is heavier or it is lighter by the density, by its density. So density is nothing but mass per unit volume. This density is denoted by a letter or this symbol. This is called as a rho. This symbol is called as a rho. Okay. So, can you tell me what will be the SI unit of mass? Yes, it is kg. It is kg. And volume, now see, volume is nothing but length into breadth into height or we can say is thickness am i right so length length we are measuring meter breadth meter height meter so how many times m is three times so m raised to three am i right so volume will be what will be the si unit of volume meter cube are you getting so density the si unit of density will be kg per meter cube what will be the si unit of density it will be kg per meter cube are you getting this now if we will take consider the cgs unit now what is meant by the cgs centimeter gram second so can you tell me what is the cgs unit of mass how we measure the mass yes in grams we measure the mass in gram am i right and volume if we want the smallest unit then we measure in centimeter so centimeter cube so it's we can say cgs unit will be cgs unit of density is gram Per centimeter cube. Are you getting this? So this is a concept related to its density. So SI unit of density will be kg per meter cube, while CGS unit of density is gram per centimeter cube. So uh, by using this formula, by using this formula, this this formula, density is equal to mass upon volume. You have to you have to solve the word problems related to these. There will be the word problems. You have to solve it. For example, I would like to tell you see if the density of an iron. See, I will tell you if the density of an iron is given. That is density of an iron. Is given to you that is suppose seven eight zero zero gram. Okay, in what say in a water of if you pour in a uh, container in a water of one centimeter cube that what will be the density? Density is equal to mass upon volume. Volume is one meter cube. So this will be seven eight zero zero. Upon 
1 it will be 7800 gram per centimeter cube likewise you have to solve the problems related i have given the worksheet for the iit students we will solve the word problems related to this of density are you getting this so in the next video we will solve the worksheet of density i hope you have understood the concept of density thank you everyone